Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Single Step English. In this lesson, you are going to learn to talk about hairstyles in English. There are many different kinds of hairstyles and you will be surprised that many hairstyles come from another language. Learning the vocabulary for hairstyles will help you become better at describing people and also can give you the skills so you can go to an English speaking hair salon and get your hair cut. Let's take a look at some popular ways that people wear their hair. To talk with a hairstylist, you need to know some basic vocabulary. First, use the length and then the location on the head. For example, longer on top or shorter on the side or shorter in back. In American English, these are called bangs. It is also known as a fringe. To make bangs, the front part of the hair is cut across the forehead. You can say that a person has short bangs when the hair is cut high on the forehead. Or you could say a person has long bangs when the hair is cut longer just above the eyes. The next person has curly hair. Curl means when something has a curved or spiral shape. Some people have natural curly hair and some people use curling irons or chemicals to make their hair curly. How about her hairstyle? What do you think it is called? Is it one, a pixie cut, or two, a bob cut? The answer is a bob cut. A bob cut or bob is a short haircut for women and occasionally men in which the hair is typically cut straight around the head at about jaw level often with bangs at the front. A pixie cut is different than a bob cut. A pixie haircut is a short hairstyle, generally short on the back and sides of the head and slightly longer on the top. A famous person who had a pixie cut was the actress Audrey Hepburn. How about hair that is not a person's natural color. We call this dyed hair. It comes from the word dye. Dye means to change the color or add a color. Someone may ask you, do you dye your hair? Have you ever dyed your hair? My mother dyes her hair. How about this hairstyle? It is dyed and the color changes from one shade to another shade, sometimes from a dark shade to a light shade. It has a gradation. For this hairstyle, we use the French word ombre. How about this hairstyle for guys? We call this a pompadour. Where does the word pompadour come from? Once again, this hairstyle came from France. These days, the pompadour is back in style as a man's haircut. Men get a modern pompadour haircut and ask for it short on the sides and long on top. Some people have this kind of hairstyle. We say he has spiky hair. A spike is a thin pointed piece of metal, wood, or another rigid or very hard material. It looks like a long nail. When something has many spikes, we call it spiky. 
In this haircut, his hair is standing on its end like a spike. Spiky hair. How about someone who has no hair? Some people lose their hair naturally. We call them bald. In this case, we use the verb go. For example, I'm going bald or he's going bald. For past tense, you can say, I went bald, or he went bald about 10 years ago. Some people choose to cut off all their hair. In this case, we don't use the word bald. Instead, we say shaved head. For example, she shaved her head for summer. It was very, very hot, so she shaved her head. What is your favorite hairstyle? Write it in the comments below. Please click the like button and subscribe to the Single Step English channel today. Thank you so much and see you next time. What are you doing? I think I'm going bald. <laughs>